Welcome back guys to Quantum Break. We had a battle here in the cafeteria and now we have to head outside. That way. Alright. I think I already looked around here. Not this way though. Oh wait, yeah, this is upstairs. There's really nothing else up here. Alright, let's go. Trying to jump down, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Save our library. I'm guessing by the end of this, there's gonna be no more library. Who reads books anyways? This seems like the way. <laughs> Gotta do some platforming. Whoa, what Looks happened like here? I'm not the only one with a grudge. Here we go. Whoa. I don't have time for this. Oh, uh, should I, uh... I gotta slow that thing down somehow. Yeah, I got it. You could slow down objects, too? Huh. I guess he means to do it this way. Which button was it? There we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh my god, you stupid pole. I'm not dead, I'm standing up. Nailed it. Alright, got it. Nothing back here. Oh, over here. Oh, no, 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 no,
If I need a quick escape, here it is. Just gotta go through here. <clears throat> this is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine core in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! What the hell is going on around here? So, it appears someone else is here. They took the two guards out downstairs and one up here. Wonder who it is. Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the brother is. The skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. The library is ready to blow. Now? That should explode. Circle around. <laughs> I thought these uh, charges would explode, but I guess not. Time shield that deflects bullets. Cool. B is a uh, reload. Define all right. You're fine. What the hell? 
I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Boing. Okay, it stopped. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Ugh. Hold that thought. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the crash. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. A little busy getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's nothing like that. How the hell are you staying alive? That's. Part of the messed up shit I need explained. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time to come up with one. I think so. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! Huh? Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. Is this like a future Paul? Whoa. Oh, no! Paul, what happened to you? What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. <gasps>
Okay. Hold on to your hope and burn. End of that one. Okay, so is this just gonna keep going until I press something? Press A to continue, okay. I'm guessing this is the episode now. Or not yet. October 10th. 25 hours after fracturing time. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Okay. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But I'm if those little witnesses finger. disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. All clear, sir. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves Mr. us with the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy. Oh my god, your neck. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is the uh, time travel thingy. So what happened to past Paul? I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Hold on. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Uh, of course. Well, Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. Uh, capture alive if possible, delivered to Paul Serene, a strange brother of Jack Joyce, renowned physicist, proposed the existence of Cronon Field at age 19, and did invented first time machine prototype, developed countermeasure, joined Project Promenade as consultant after death of Dr. Kim. Paul, the men are waiting for your input. Okay. Dr. Joyce will be present in time in the time machine lab during the onset of the fracture at 4.15 a.m. All exits are to be covered by Prowler team. Raider team will wait until 4.16 to reach at the time machine. Serene brought down the whole building just to take out that geek. Stone cold, man. <laughs> Talk about making a point. Shh, he's listening. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future which made it clear that could change very soon. No in front of Paul Serene before incident, parents deceased, raised self in teen years as brother became distant. Criminal record in Massachusetts, Grand Theft Auto, simple assault with attempt to rob or steal. Left Riverport and never returned until the incident. Received a weapon training and low light and heavy firearms. Arrested for weapons related charges in 2015. Charges dropped. Uh, let's go through the briefing. Uh, Jack Joyce will be present in the time machine lab. Yep. 
All exits are covered. Uh, approach Jack with caution. He will be cron cron on <laughs> can cron on enabled at this time. Cron on abilities predicted to not manifest until two hours after fracture onset. Apprehend immediately. All right, and this is the girl. What's his name? Amy? No, sir. Someone else. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. Okay, it is Amy. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Uh, is this what affects the episode? Paul, we need your decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Uh, the junction power reveals two potential features. Your decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Hard line, hold the show PR. Uh. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Okay. That would sound good for Jack, though. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to want to want it to benefit Jack, since he seems like the main protagonist, but... Seems both Jack and Paul are the main protagonists. I don't know who I'd be playing as more. A PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody's sneaking around down there. I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. That doesn't sound too bad, and I don't want her to die. So let's go with this one. The uh, PR approach. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. There's no other way out. Oh, going through the okay. Machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! This is past Paul. Or current Paul. I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Seventy percent of the community agreed with your choice. Okay, this is a uh, other people played. So thirty percent went the other way. Those monsters. I'm kidding. I would uh, if I do another. I probably will do another uh. Play this again after I. Finish this one. Just to see what the other side's like. 
Here we go, the episode.